This is not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge sanctioned by the U.S. government. Weapons of class 4 and lower have been authorized for use during the purge. All other weapons are restricted. Government officials of ranking 10 have been granted immunity from the purge and shall not be harmed. Commencing at the siren, any and all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 continuous hours. Police, fire, and emergency medical services will be unavailable until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. when the purge concludes. Blessed be our new founding fathers and America, a nation reborn. May God be with you all. Well, I've had to deal with a lot of shit with you. Finally, I get my chance to... Really, motherfucker? Let's purge. Let's make America great again. Fuck yeah. Start with you. Oh, shit! Uh, uh, Who I... put blanks in my gun? Woo! Oh, good. Oh, what am I... You can try. I can beat you to death for this. <laughs> Um, you know what, guys? Uh, I wasn't gonna do anything to you. You're you're my best friend. Why would I ever do anything to you? What? It's legal. It is legal. But I'll beat your ass with this. I'll. You know what? I, I, let's call it shooting. Let's call it shooting. We, yeah, got, we got other enemies. We got. A, yeah, yeah I know. Why? Why us? We right? got twelve hours. I know. We got twelve hours. I mean, we got plenty of time. Me and you, we have plenty of enemies from the past to take care of. We certainly do, guys. Uh, welcome, we everybody. For it too. Ooh, damn right. Uh, to our review of The First Purge and the prequel of the series out of the four films here. Yeah, I was kind of surprised. I thought they were going to go, like, when we saw the whole Conjuring thing, you know, they, how they went with that timeline to, like, the prequel to near the beginning. The third oh, one. yeah, so it kind of skipped around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm okay. Kinda, I'm yeah. kind of surprised they waited this long to do the prequel to the entire series. Ooh, well, my thought was at the end of that last film, Purge Election Year, mm. I thought... That's the end. We're not going to get any more Purge films. I mean, and yeah, I... And it's kind of fuzzy because I barely remember. I watched it, but it's been such a long time. It's oh, kind of fuzzy. Man. Now. And I thought to myself, I was like, okay, we're not going to get any more. I like the... Overall, I like the Purge trilogy. And then this sort of came out of like, oh, hey, they're going to do... Uh, the story uh, how it began. Of how it began. And I was like, okay, if that... If there's anything that could probably get me back in the theater for another Purge film, it yeah. would probably be that. I mean, they are coming out with the Purge TV show, or was it a mini event? It's it's a ten episode event that's going to happen on the USA Network in September, I think. And how is that going to work? Is it going to be like they're going to every episode's going to be a year? Is it going to be ten episodes for one night? I I don't know. Do like a twenty four or a twenty four thing? Yeah, I just I just don't know. Again, there's there's a lot of different ways you could do different concepts for the purge. Um, this is definitely an interesting sort of way to go with the prequel thing here, at least. I mean, where do you want to start with this film, sir? Well, I mean, I mean, the only cast, like I said, the only cast member that I know, I don't know anybody else's work throughout yeah. this movie. Only one I know of is Marissa Tomei, who plays the architect behind the design of The Purge. Yeah, she actually plays the person who came up with the concept and that the, um... Founding Fathers of America. Uh, they took on the concept, grasped onto it, and decided to make it their own with this. Yeah, they went. They compared to her idea in the movie. They went to the extreme. Well, basically, at the beginning of the movie, um, poverty is at an all-time high. Stock, jobs are like almost non-existent. Jobs are non-existent. The stock market is 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 tumbling. Um, Population. Overpopulation. It's gotten really bad, and basically, the the new founding fathers of America, um, the president of the United States, um, they have decided that that they need to do something about this. They need to lower the radical, population. Radical move in order to save the world. And 
they decide we are going to try this experiment um, called The Purge, mm -hmm. a 12-hour experiment located in Staten Island. Our own corner of the world, New York, ourselves. Uh, our own corner of the wor world, New York, uh, Lady Li Li Liberty, of course, I've Lady Liberty. I've seen New York City and I couldn't be surprised if they did it there. Ooh, no, 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 yeah, I couldn't be surprised at all. Uh, yeah, yeah, it'd be, it'd be rough. But, uh, you know, for, for me, though, I will admit this, that I... I think it's interesting to note that the first purge was not actually a worldwide purge. It was actually an experiment. Well, I, didn't, a small I didn't think they were to go with a worldwide purge because of that almost nobody would have got it. Plus, considering what happened in the film, it's like, did they have that much forces to spread that far away? Yeah, that is true, too. I They wanted to try, they wanted to try a small scale before they go on to a bigger scale. Yes, and look, I mean, as far as this film is concerned... I like I like the characters. I like the storyline. I think yeah. the storyline is interesting with the these these sort of lower income people and this sort of drug kingpin who is from the neighborhood, but you know he sort of has kind of a heart of gold, I guess. Yeah, he's not like a complete asshole that's gonna like kill you if you piss him off. Or yeah, he like he's not. I mean, I mean he'll kill you. Yeah, but I mean. I mean that's only if you tick him off enough. Yeah, I mean, he'll kill you, but... On, I mean, he cares about his community. You know, he helps people get uh, jobs, even if it's illegal and all that type yeah, of Yeah, he does stuff. He does help out the community. Of course, he does fuck up the community with cocaine and, and drugs and shit. So, I mean, how... how he's I mean, how he's can... providing the yin to the yang here. <laughs> and he doesn't so. like the idea of the purge. And... He doesn't because it's not something that he, he fully... He doesn't fully understand it and or it, or trust or it. trust it, and neither does a lot of people. But but the the way they can get these people on Staten Island to participate is they end up giving them yes money, five thousand uh, just to stay the night. Just to stay. Now that doesn't include actually killing. And, and apparently, if you kill, you get even more money. Yes. And and how they know that you do this deed is that they give you these contacts. Yeah. And they're colored contacts. They look like, like futuristic, like cyborg type stuff. Yeah, like, they do. And it was. Even they have like air drones, you know, monitoring the area, who's been purging, who hasn't. Yeah, so they can video footage all of the stuff. I and mean, once the purge starts. They got to the point where they weren't expecting. It's like nobody's really purging to like the extent that they want. You know, like killing people left and right. It's more like partying and you know rioting that type of stuff. Yeah, they're they're like they're doing the drugs and they're basically looting and um, having sex and you know uh, in public places and they they they're they're hey, not really doing everything's legal for twelve hours so you can fucking run across naked across the street. And, yeah, they, they and have a, a shotgun in one hand. Come on, motherfucker, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, you can give a fuck. But I actually, though, basically, the people who are monitoring this, they don't like that. They're like, the my God. results aren't what they're expecting. If they want this to be a worldwide success, there's got to be far more mm -hmm. killing. And basically, they That's bring... Where the, the new plan comes in. The new plan comes in. You, you're right. There's a whole new plan that happens. And um, as far as the violence in this film... It was decent. I mean, it wasn't great. I mean, if you were to compare it to the other Purge films, I guess. I'd say the best one who had the best violence, in my opinion, was Anarchy. That was yes, the Anarchy, one. yeah, by, by far, by I mean, far. This one was decent. I mean, it was better than the first movie that they made. Yeah, first movie, yeah, not not so great. I mean, you, in that one, you pretty much just focus on one family right there. I mean, this one you're seeing, like in the second and third and fourth one, you're seeing the entire city. You're seeing more of the city aspect. You're seeing more of the chaos. I do think the violence is not as great as I would have hoped it would have been. Yeah. But maybe, again, because this is the first one yeah. and maybe because it's an experiment, maybe well, they... don't forget, not, like we said earlier, not all normal people are participating. It's... It, it's yeah it's very selected few that are doing it I, again the violence and i will say something that really upsets me in the movie is that whenever they're like um 
uh, blood is shooting out or something like that. A lot of it is CGI blood. Yeah, it doesn't look real. It doesn't look realistic, and it doesn't look good. I'm, I'm just Seth, being, you've been shot next. <laughs> squirter. Like, the squirter, but it's like CGI squirt. Yeah, it, it, well, it's, then, it's terrible. Some of the stuff that people go through in this movie, like there's just one kid who gets stabbed in the neck. I'm like. Considering how close he got stabbed in the neck, you yeah. figure he had like an artery or something. Like, yeah, oh, like no, there. I just got a little cut on my neck. Yeah, that... I call uh, bullshit. Yeah, there's a lot of bullshit moments at times. Um, the violence, at some point, is effective. Other points, you're like, well, I've seen it before and done in other Purge movies. Yeah. Um, the action in it is decent, too. Yeah. It's it's decent, just like I other I thought it was going to be up to a higher level-ish, but... Is that because, see, I guess the problem is because this is a prequel and because there's been three other Purge movies, do you feel like it lessened this movie in a lot of ways? Well, the pur first Purge, it wasn't, the, the, at best, the violence was moderate to, not, you know, it was, it was barely noticeable. When they got to the second one, I was like, holy shit, they're yeah. like blowing people apart yes. that one. Like that was badass. And, and the third one, I I can't I can't really remember it that well, but I, I thought it was decent. I liked it. I, I did, but this one felt I it felt like I, quick, very quick. I I, I won't say tame because it's not tame, but it just it felt like it was just trying to get going through the motions yeah. and everything. Some parts of the movie just went really quick. It did, and as far as like yeah, you know, is does this. Does this sort of set up another movie or anything? Um, I think they're they're doing that ten episode event. I don't know if we're gonna get another movie or not. I mean, then I forget. In, in election year, didn't they end the purge? Or yeah, they ended the purge at the end of. No, the of government's election. not gonna. You know, the rest of the other government's like, oh, we gotta find a way to take it back. Yeah, I don't. I don't really know if it's like, you know, we're gonna get another movie or not. I, I didn't mean, even think we we're gonna get this one. So I mean, it comes pretty common. I mean, in the movie, in this movie. Like, oh, we're not getting results for us, so they just pretty much hire all these guys, mercs and shit, just to start killing people. Mercenaries and everything like that. Where I like that aspect of the film better in Purge Anarchy yeah. than I liked it in this one. But again, I have to keep on remembering to myself <sighs> that this is a prequel, and it sets up things. It doesn't exactly, like, go as far as maybe something like Purge Anarchy You does. know what I would have done what? instead? I would have gone to a prison, you know, where, like, I would okay. go to, like, a bunch of different prisons near that area. Yeah. And just release all the most violent, vic violent, uh, convicts, you yeah. know, and send them out there. Like, not only will you get your freedom, but you have to, in order to get it, you have to keep, you know, keep killing until the party's that over. That would have been cool. That, and you get paid for it. Well, that, I actually, that's actually a really great concept. I actually really do like that That would have been more believable. Believable than, than this, and... You know, uh, again, like, it's, see, these Purge movies, I love the concept. The concept is great, and I think that first Purge movie, I was really disappointed because I thought, boy, for such a great concept, well, I mean, it, it just went down the shitter well, real real fast with a, with a home invasion movie, which I was like, Re really? It's been done to death. It's been done to death. I mean, you got the two, you got, it's all stereotyped in that movie. Yeah, whereas with the second one and the third one, I thought they opened it up much yeah. more, wider. New possibilities. I, possibilities, I liked it a lot more. Here, yes, you get the likable characters, and yes, you get um, some decent action and some decent violence, but is it... As good as those previous Purge movies? No. No, I don't I don't really think it is. Like I told you in the theater when this movie was over, my top one is Anarchy. Yeah, top one is, is Anarchy then for me, too. I probably have to say Election Year. Election Year, and then... then third and fourth, it would be a... They're pretty almost on par with each other. Sort of like a tie? I I'd have to say this one would probably have been a tiny bit better than the first movie. Yeah, I will say this. This is a tiny bit better you than... You their... couldn't like almost like nobody in the first movie. Yes, because I, I will admit this. In that first Poop Purge movie, there's not a lot of likable characters in that first I mean, Purge film. They'll make stupid decisions. I mean, I can understand the kid, you know, that's how they get old mm, invasion thing gets yeah. started. Daughters, just not to blame the actors or any of the actors in the movie, it's just the part they were given. Uh, it's, just, it's just like everybody made stupid decisions. Incredibly fucking stupid. And it just. To to me, like I think there's I I think you have more likable characters. I think characters in this film make better decisions. Yeah. I think that's what ups it a little bit more for me. 
the action and the violence, you get a better in Anarchy and Election Year. Here, again, not so much. And as far as, like, a prequel is concerned, do I... Is this one of the better prequels that I've ever seen? Um, seen better, we've seen worse. Yeah, my favorite prequel still to this day is Psycho 4, the beginning. <laughs> I fucking love Psycho 4, the beginning. It's because you relate to him. To, to Norman Bates? Mother! Base. Mother! I, I, if you start oh. dressing up like your mother, I'm terrified. Yes, exactly. Um... I mean, what's your f favorite prequel, I guess? If you had to pick a favorite prequel. I mean, if this isn't it, what what is? I'm trying to think. Yeah, I mean... I mean, really, if, if you had to, had to pick... I mean, there's a lot of prequels out there. I mean... I can't really think of one right now. Well, I, I mean, for me, look, it is it is kind of tough because... Uh, I Do I think this film needed to be made... No, I don't think this film needed to be made at all. In fact, I think this movie couldn't have been made and I would have been just happy with just the other three Purge movies. I mean, uh, for me, I thought they could have just put this to straight to DVD. Uh, honestly, this could have been straight to DVD and I wouldn't have had a problem with that either. It's it's it's, it's really tough, well, man. Well, I mean, I, can, I just want to point this out before we get to near the end. Sure, you know, yeah. Reiterating. It's like Marissa Termay's character, you know, the architect, the, the idea behind it. The, the idea curve. behind it, yeah. Where did she think this was going to go? I mean, well, you really think you're going to overthrow a government and decide, oh, we're going to make any crime legal for 12 hours well, a year? Well, there's even, like, that moment in the film where, like, nothing's really happening, and the guy from the government administration, he's getting pissed, and she's like, oh, well, I didn't, I didn't think of this. And I'm thinking, like, wait a minute, so you didn't think that people were just going to loot and party and not, like... Yeah. Or, I mean, what? I mean, I know you think that in order for our country to survive, we all need to kill each other, apparently, but that's not always the case. I mean, shit, I got a whole list of people I could probably have taken out my first purge. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but then again, what, I mean, if I did it all that year, who would I have next for the next couple This years? is a good point. This, this is, this, you are here, right. Here's the real moral obligation of this story. Yeah. You know, they decide to do this thing just to get rid of the lower class. They and, do. You know, all the poor people. I'm like, if you look but, at the world right now, only maybe a good 10% of the world is actually rich. Everybody else is way below yeah. the poverty line. So wouldn't that... See, see this Don't is, forget, the rich and the important people are protected... I mean, wouldn't, but let me ask you this, wouldn't, wouldn't, like, killing all those people, wouldn't that hurt the economy and not yeah, actually help you're gonna it? need people to do work and shit, and I'm like, if you don't got nobody from, I mean, lower and middle class, we're the ones that are basically the backbone of America making all the products that we need. Yeah, so. Cars, you name it. Yeah, so I don't know how killing the oh, mass. We'll, we'll kill all the poor people and, you know, all the homeless and all that stuff, but, like. What are you really solving in the long run? All you're going to do is, like, make more problems later on. I mean, there's no real solving it. I, I, I mean, especially with with that way. Sometimes that that's what I always saw with the purge. It's really odd like, like that. But, I oh, mean... we're going to kill everybody because the world's overpopulated? What do you expect? You know, people are... People don't, <laughs> People spend less time watching TV and Netflix and out there screwing and making, like, 10 or 15 kids at a time. That's why it's called Netflix and chill. I mean, come on. They don't chill, apparently. But they just fuck. I mean, I mean this yeah. ain't Skinamax. <laughs> it, it should be called Netflix and fuck. I mean, Jesus. I mean, they oh, should start fuck. doing a purge. Like, oh, you're over on your cable bill. Purge, purge. Oh purge. my God. Then, 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 then I'd be dead already. I ain't you're over on your car lie. insurance. Purge, purge. Man, purge. man, man. I just kill, kill my you ass already. The one thing I didn't get in this concept yeah. in this movie. You know, those who participate get implanted with a tracker in them. Yes. We almost didn't get that thing used at all in this movie. No, in fact, that's another aspect of the movie that didn't get used. They talk about the tracker. They do kind of use it in the fact that, that the mercenaries are kind of tracking them a little bit. Yeah. But that's really all they use it for. It's... I mean, they got kind of, you know, all the mercenaries got all the unfair advantages. Like, oh... This is the area we need to hit, you know, we need to kill all these people. And they got fucking air drones killing people who resist them. I, I know, it's, it's, it's like, un, unfortunately, it's like they had to kill people and they just, you know, had to do it any way they could and, well, yeah. they just did it. 
Um, I, I mean, the movie's not a terrible experience. It's not a terrible experiment like, like they tried to do in the movie. But, I mean, what is your final thoughts and grade rating on The First Purge, sir? I mean, like you said, the story was average. Yeah. You, know, you know, the violence was average. I mean, it's still a lot better than the first Purge movie that yeah, we saw. Yeah, that's true. Um, honestly, there wasn't really... I mean, you had a couple jump scares, but other than that, it didn't really impress me too much. No, it didn't impress me either. It's, you know... A lot of areas, it was kind of bland. I agree. I mean, that they were trying to... I understand you got a storyline to do, but you're kind of rushing. You know, you need to make it more... More, I mean, shit, like the suggestion I gave earlier about the pr convicts and all that stuff. That would have been that a better been, idea. That would have been a great idea. I mean, you get one guy in here, his name's Skeletor. I'm like, I was like, hey, I thought he was going to be in like a mass killing spree. Yeah, but... He killed maybe what? Uh, four people? Five, six, maybe? If that? Yeah. I thought he was severely underused. Yeah, severely underused. I thought he was going to be used more, but no. But, no. I mean, this movie could have been a lot better. But then again, the franchise has kind of gone up and down throughout these movies. Yeah. So I didn't really have much high hope for this one. Mm. I'd have to give this one probably a solid C. C? Okay. Um, look, for me, uh, it, it's a movie that's not really needed. I like the Anarchy. I like the Election Year. This one feels just kind of like just there. It's it's okay. We get a, another one. The concept's overplayed now. the The series is overplayed, and it's just time to end it. It should have ended at election year. This is just decent for what it is, but it's nothing special. I would probably give it a low C minus. It's, we're about almost. We're about almost the same. It just is not as <sighs> good as it could have been. Well, we can agree like, this is better than the first purge. Absolutely. Um, so. Blessed be the purge, sir. Let's sing our anthem. Let's sing the anthem. America, America. America. Let's, Let's kill, kill someone, someone again. again. Not me. Don't kill oh. me. Don't fucking kill me. Well, don't you know you get a $5,000 bonus for every person you kill? Yeah, but that doesn't include best friends. Where's John and Van? Oh, yes, our friends. Actually, you know what? We're going to actually... Speaking of which, we don't have to kill each other. We've got our friends to kill. They deserve it. Uh, let me get, take these blanks out and get the real ones. Damn right. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Let us know what you think about this film and the other Purge movies. And, um, yeah, if you are uh, purging tonight, let's let us it. know. Let's get our Purge on. Damn right, guys. I'm not fucking with him. That Make America Great Again hat is really scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, guys.